<laughs> okay, we're just going to show that um, classic C5, C6 quad, uh, no movement from the chest down, some sensation, which helps. I have a lot of sensation. Well, the left leg less than the right leg, but yeah. the right leg is almost full sensation. Yeah. Thank God, right? So that helps a lot in communicating and helping with transfers and working out. Right. Even you can feel right down to your toes. You can actually wiggle your toes, so that's the incomplete part. Right. So obviously from the chest up, strong, strong shoulders. I say for me, whatever muscles I have, I have shoulders, deltoid, you know, especially my back and my uh my So arms. triceps huge. I no, I don't have any triceps. I mean but whatever yeah, biceps, but whatever muscles I have, I try to maximize as much as I can to make those as strong as I can so that I'm able to do the things that I can't like pop over and transfer or just just mobility, you know. It's very important. And if you don't use it, you lose it, right? Absolutely. So you work out as hard as you can every day. So as far as biceps, very, very strong. Right? Yeah. Pull, pull me. So the biceps are like 100%. You are. <laughs> and uh, triceps are... I have no triceps. Push towards me. Little, little, little bit there, but with resistance. Classic five six quad, right? No, no triceps. I have very little tricep in this one. I think that's, that's good. really good, actually. Yeah. That's really strong. This so, at what point do you lose gravity on your? Let's go all the way. Don't use your shoulder. Yeah. So I, about without without gravity. If I go like this. That's yeah. a good example right there. I got no triceps, but but biceps. So strong, 100%. Right? And then. So wrists up, obviously. Strong, strong. And. Nothing. Nothing. Fingers. Show the finger movement. I could almost try to flip you up. <laughs> How about the other side? Nothing. Strong. Other side, and nothing. <laughs> nothing. Finger movement. Finger movement. Oh, to have those fingers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Couple more vertebrae. So other than that, you have uh, you make it look fantastic because of your shoulders and all the muscles in your arms and stuff. But if you're here without the use oh. of your arms. It's all shoulders, right? It's shoulders and back. If I, even if I just go like this to do a weight shift, I mean, that feels good. It, it's hip, uh, my hip flexion, just to do that is really important. And that's all back and shoulders. And that to me is really important. I noticed if I don't do that, if I don't work out for a week, maybe two, just to do something like this, Ooh, I That's would like hard. to say something to all physical therapists out there. When working with a spinal cord injury patient, they will cheat. They will use every muscle possible to get the job done, which is perfect. You have to, and it makes you more independent. But if you want to truly know the amount of um, what you have in each muscle group, hold this shoulder down. <laughs> yeah. For, in other words... For instance, if I'm trying to use my triceps, I can't help but cheat a little bit and throw in my shoulder. But so if I hold the shoulder, if I isolate the shoulder and really don't be timid with people, yes, because they need to know that you're in control, that you've got them. You because, support me. Right, support. So don't be shy. He doesn't break. He's kind of cute, right? That's not my hair. Okay. Know. So if you isol really, really isolate because they will... Yeah, I'm broken. I'm not fragile. So uh, I, I guess the point is, for me, I cheat sometimes. I've always cheated. 
<clears throat> in other words, to get to what I have to do. But it's not necessarily a horrible thing. I know PTs always say, you know, you're not supposed to cheat, but sometimes a little bit of cheating helps you get to where you have to go. And keeps you in a manual wheelchair. Yeah, absolutely. Which keeps you healthy. You can tell 11 years later, still looking good. <laughs> Cut!